In this video, we'll look into Python and PyODBC installation. We use PyODBC for connecting to SQL Server, connecting Python to SQL Server. So download and install Python. This is the link where, from where we can download the Python. HTTPS www.python.org slash downloads. I go there. You got the python.org website, and this is the downloads here. You can download Python 3.9.1. This is the latest version currently. So you can download the Python from this uh, site. Python download is uh, quite uh, straightforward uh, download. Now the next step would be by, by default. Python gets installed at the following location. C users XYZ add data local programs python python.9 scripts. We'll replace XYZ with the folder name in your computer at C users. And this XYZ is different for different users. So you can search where your Python has been installed with this path. Python will be installed at this path and uh, you can look at path using and uh, go to the folder where Python has been installed. Now let us install Microsoft ODBC driver 17 for SQL Server x64 or for x86. x86. Generally computers are 64 bit so you need this x64. But according to your requirement, you can download the, the ODBC driver. For that, we go to this location. I'll give this uh, location uh, paths in the description. Let me go there. Here, you can download Microsoft ODBC driver 17 for SQL Server x64 or download Microsoft ODBC driver 17 for SQL Server x86. Generally, most of the computers will have 64 bits, so you can download the first one and you'll get the drivers so that we can connect to the SQL from Python. So, this is the download ODBC driver for SQL Server and it is at documents.microsoft.com and this path, which I'll give it in the description. Now, type CMD in your search box and right click command prompt run as administrator yes this window will open up here we'll go to the python path so here we will paste this path cd users uh, c c users and what our name here add that local programs python python 39 scripts so we'll go to that path the scripts path and then we will type use pip to install pyodbc so pip install pyodbc install pyodbc and when you press enter here, it will install the PYODBC. I have already installed PYODBC, so I am coming out of this window. So if you click enter here, then uh, it will install the PYODBC. And this PYODBC is, is used to connect Python to SQL Server. Now we are ready to run Python in command prompt. But if you want to install Visual Studio and install the Python support in Visual Studio, if you already installed Visual Studio, you can modify that to install the Python support or you can uh, download the Visual Studio with Python support. So if you don't have Visual Studio installed with Python support, then we can uh, go to this path. If I click here, the docs.microsoft.com this preview how to install python support in visual studio on windows here clearly the steps were given 
to install Visual Studio 2019 and Visual Studio 2017. So here the steps are given where you can follow these steps and install the Visual Studio. These four steps, I mean, you can take the help from these uh, steps to install the video Visual Studio. If you have already installed Visual Studio, then we can go to this link. This is modify Visual Studio by adding or removing workloads and components. So now we can use this link to modify the Visual Studio to install Python support. Here he has given clearly the steps. How do you modify and modify workloads and workloads we have this Python development here. We can choose that Python development and then we'll get the Python uh, support in Visual Studio. Now let us check whether Python has been installed. Here go to the search box, type cmd, enter. We'll go to the location C users, type ty here. We get Python 3.9.1 tags. These are the tags MSC, type help, copyright, credits, or license for more information. So if you get this uh, information when you type py at this location, then Python has been installed. Now you can start working from this prompt. Check the Visual Studio. Click on uh, Visual Studio. And then check for Python application. So if it is not showing up, you can search for the Python application. And this Python application will open up and you can start the Python application and you can start writing code in the Visual Studio. This will come up in a second. So it is uh, showing up. So now you can work on this uh, Python application. So either you can work on the command prompt or on Visual Studio. In both the cases, uh, you can write the code, but in Visual Studio, it is convenient to save the files and run the code uh, rather than on uh, command prompt. But it depends on uh, which environment you prefer to work on Python. If you like the video, please subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button. For notifications on upcoming videos, please click on the bell icon.